Hello. It's Friday. Or as Pin or Daily Pinto says, it's Friday. All right. So how are you doing? Did you make it through the week? I hope you did. I hope this means you're here because you made it through. All right. So today we are working uh, awesome arms with the TRX. So have your TRX handy. Next week we are back to dumbbells and we're going to do Monday as emphasis on triceps and Friday is emphasis on biceps. We'll still get shoulders in there as well, but just know that slight change for next week. So if we do both of them, it's really the complete workout. All right, so starting full leaning back, just because it feels good to lift your breast low to the ceiling, and then slowly go ahead and lean yourself back. Let your arms go beside your ears, get that stretched out a little bit, and then tuck your tailbone, roll yourself up. All right, so from here, slowly bend the elbows high, and release, continue, bend the elbows high. So two things going on here. One, we're working out the back. Two, we're working the biceps. So I want you to feel neck is relaxed. You're feeling the work in between your shoulder blades and on the back of the shoulder blade, back of the shoulder, as well as we're getting that biceps. This will be that whole concept. I am pulling myself forward and that does get into biceps, also in the back. So they tend to go together. You can do upper back without the biceps. So if you want to try that, palms turn in, straight arms go out, and then release with control. And again, you can mix and match these a little bit if you'd like to. So one straight arm, one bent elbow, one straight arm. So if you're not used to doing that straight arm version, it's a little bit stronger. You've got small muscles without the assistance of the bicep trying to do the work. It's easier to mix it up a little bit. All right, so we got a couple more here. One more. And release. Let's go ahead and flip you around so you're facing away. We're going to do a lot of flipping today. All right, walk back. And again, that gives you the angle of strength for your chest. Core is engaged. Your hips are lifted a little bit out of that straight line. Slowly bend your elbows. Straighten your elbows. Bend and straight. So now this is a push. We are pushing away. This is getting into those triceps. That will be Monday. And to make a note to remind myself to do that on Monday. Yes. All right. So bend. Straighten. How far bend do you bend? You can go down to 90 degrees and then press back. Down, pause, hold. You can go a little bit deeper, but again, this, if you do that pause, gets you plus or minus about 10 degrees, which gets you farther probably than if you did the drop all the way down. And it protects your shoulders. We like protective shoulders. And now you're thinking, okay, on the other side, we did it without triceps. So now arms out in a fly and back together. So I'm gonna angle towards you a little bit. So out in a fly, back together. Out in a fly. So again, working the chest without getting into the arms as much. Lots of options on ways to do things. Again, we can work the chest without working the triceps. We can work triceps without working the chest. All right, again, feel free to mix and match. One push up, one fly. One push up, one fly. We got one more set. And then release. All right, let's flip yourself back around. All right, so now lean back, get your hips sit back a little bit, palms are going to turn up. So notice where your shoulder blades are. If they're rounded forward and you feel them pulling forward, I really want you to engage that upper back. Hmm, maybe that's why we did the other exercise first to get it engaged. All right, from here, slower, keep the elbows in place, bend the elbows, slower on that release. So now you're really isolating that bicep. And then slow on the release. Bend. And then slow on the release. So hands are coming to the shoulders. Try to keep those elbows up. So notice the upper arm is staying pretty much parallel to the ground as I do this. Got a couple more. And then I got to itch my face. Ah. 
All right, so we're going to play with that a little bit. So again, here, come all the way hands to shoulders, go halfway, so elbows to 90, and then pull the hands to the shoulders again, all the way release. Hands to shoulders, halfway, hands to shoulders, and release. All the way, halfway, to the shoulders, release. we got one more. All the way, halfway, to the shoulders, and release. All right, so let's work the other angle. So shake it out if you need to. So just to 90 degrees, and then slow and release. So now you're controlling how far you come in. Make sure you're breathing, please. Nice exhale. All right, try to keep those elbows up. We got one more. Ugh, and release. All right, flip yourself back around. I've lots of flipping today. All right, so we're going to do the overhead tricep. So in this nice long position, however, if you hit the ceiling fan or if that's too much, you're also welcome to do it from here. Just realize it's a little different, and that's fine. All right, see if I can do it without hitting the ceiling fan. All right, so lean yourself out. And again, if you need to, to catch the body weight or to miss the fan, um, you can step into that lunge. The leg is there more for stability than anything. Let's see if I can do it. All right, so thumbs can be together. This way a little bit. So if you want to, you can kind of push your ends together. Elbows should be still pointing forward. Bend the elbows, straighten the elbows. Bend and straighten. So you're trying to keep your elbows by your head the whole time. Okay, that was bugging me. Let's see if I go back here and do that. So keep going. Bend and straighten. Again, more of a challenge is to have that both feet back. Feet together is going to be more challenging. Feet wider apart is going to be more stable. What works for you? I also want you to focus on keeping those wrists straight. Keep going, keep going. Okay. So since I'm talking, I'm actually going to put my foot out. Talking and doing this sometimes does not work for me because I have so much to say. All right. So how are the shoulders feeling? Do you feel like you're getting them stretched out? So maybe back off a little bit so that head's behind the arms. All right, one more. And release. All right, you're going to the other push-up position. So you will want to make sure that the buckles are so that they are not rubbing you. We're going to step back. Arms are going to be in close. And now you're doing a close grip Push up, also called the tricep push up. All right, so bend the elbows, straighten the elbows. This is a totally different position of the shoulder, a position against gravity. So we are getting different aspects of that tricep. Don't worry, we got one more position to do. We got a couple more here, so keep that core engaged. All right, flip yourself around. All right, so now I want you sitting down. I want you bending. All right, so you're going to lean back just a little bit, and then you're going to push your tricep straight. Walk yourself forward, but let the arms take your weight. Let it come back. So elbows point back. Push the tricep straight. My triceps are taking. I don't know about yours. Okay, we'll just do a couple more of these. We'll work with these next time. All right, so this is a kickback. So from here, it's kind of hard to get those arms straight without that step forward, okay? And maintain control. So think about what's happening at the shoulder blades. Shoulder blades are staying back. Oh, you can cheat like me. All right, shake it out. I think that's enough for today. It is Friday. So have a great weekend. And I will see you guys Monday at five for pull day. Have a good one. Bye.